orchid I bought at the supermarket. It was reduced to less than six dollars. It has some really pretty coloring on it. Maybe I'll call it purple throat or something. White with purple throat. Here's it's pretty healthy. One, two, three, four, there's eight or nine leaves on it. Hi everybody, I'm just gonna do some filming of some of the orchids I've bought lately. This one, I'm trying to remember where I bought it. Walmart maybe? I got it when they first come in. It doesn't look it here, but it is so very, very dark with a dark throat. I think I might call it Blackie. I love these butterflies that they have at Martin's. They're two dollars. Very pretty. Here's another orchid I added to my collection. Oh, let me see Blackie's leaves. Really big leaves. As you can see from my hand here. She has some pretty good leaves. I think she has six. Hi everybody again. <laughs> I'm making this video more for me to keep track of my new orchids and maybe share them with you. I love that butterfly. That's another one from Martin's. Two bucks. Alright, I fell in love with this uh, yellow orchid. I bought it first and love the fact that it has the darker center there. But, I'm not sure what will happen if I... No, I don't think the light helps. And so it has two sets of buds here. And then I saw this orchid a week or so later at Martin's and it has this little glow of white so maybe its name should be Moonlight Yellow and it has the yellow butterfly in it right now and these leaves are also huge look at that leaf how big it is and while I'm at it here's an update on my Rex begonia that I rescued. The only trouble I've had with it is I forget to water it so it's lost a few leaves but it's doing great. So that's my three dollar Rex begonia reduced from nine from last September. Now here's another orchid that I bought, but I believe, whoops, that just broke off an old stem. This one, I think, was one that was reduced. There's another older orchid back here. I don't know who she is. She has the pink bunny in her. And she's pretty healthy. Here's a little experiment. I have all kinds of different plants growing in here. You can see the transescanthia is way down there. Alright, back to orchids. This is one from last year. And I've lost the tag from it. The tag that's in it right now. Whoops, the butterfly wants to get in the picture. This one is lavender pink with a yellow center. And she's in this grayish pot. I've tried to buy some of those pots and they're very expensive. That's what a bromeliad came in. Then here is my white waterfall 
that I bought last year, there were two of these plants, of these buds with waterfall. And look at the leaves. They're huge. Absolutely huge. Bigger than my hand. And this cutie, she's having trouble, but she's getting a new leaf. And this is the one that I just broke off her flower. She's pink. And this was a new one I just bought. And unfortunately, all the blooms fell off. Now for this one. Whoa. I just broke off some more of my Diffenbachia that's not doing so well. This isn't showing up as peach colored as it really is. But I want to call it peaches and cream. It's a beautiful, beautiful flower. And this is from last year. This isn't the best light to be doing this in. And it has lance-shaped leaves. Look how nice and dark green that is. That's the Epsom salts. Here's a new leaf it's getting. Another leaf. See how shiny they get with Epsom salts? And I brought this in. This is moss from outside that I found. Alright, I am going to pause. Here's one more pretty orchid. This one is reblooming also from last year. Let's see if I can move around so you can see all the blooms. Oops. She's a pretty one. Maybe I should turn the light out. Oh, she shows up in a different way. But a very, very pretty plant. And it makes me happy she's decided to rebloom. Her leaves are shiny. She has six. She has seven good leaves. Looks like she might be getting another one. Down in there, yep. So, yellow with pink freckles and pink whatever. It was in bud in December. And I've been putting moss. Some of the moss hasn't lived. I'll just show you a little bit more. This, all of this, from way down here to way up here is a lot of cuttings that I had that I decided to stick all of them in the same hanging basket. And it's doing very well. All right. These are, let me shut this off. That is one of the under-the-counter lights. And here's another one that I got at Dollar General for a few dollars. So, here's one more thing to show you. Here's my Golden Shield. Not Golden Shield, I keep saying that. Regal Shield. Alocasia. That I have a smaller one to give away for my hundredth subscriber. And it sat in here on the far side of the bedroom. And sometimes in the winter the sunlight close to sunset got this far across the room. So it's done very well over the winter. I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm surprised that um, this has been filming for so long because usually it shuts itself off. Sorry, I've missed you guys 
and your comments. So if you like what you see here, this isn't a very good video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask me. This will be the second video I will post. I have one on my unboxing of my plant from Plantarina. And here's the other one from Gabriella's Nursery. I love the Scandaptus Pictus. Here's my beautiful frosty, I think, begonia. Anyhow, back to my plants. I don't know. I don't like to say goodbye, I guess. Maybe someone could tell me if this is a golden Hoya, if it's different than a crimson princess. I'll have to do a Hoya update. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll try to do better on my next video. God bless everyone. And I absolutely love this Diffenbachia. It is doing so well, and that's a new leaf, you can tell. All right, I have a hard time saying goodbye. So, everybody, hopefully we'll have some warming up. Right now, it's going down to like below 30. Last night, or today, we had a few snow flurries. The weekend of Mother's Day, unbelievable. So, take care, everybody.